Hi, uh, so this video is uh, in response to a video request from Cindy Ramirez, so thanks for putting that forward. Uh, this one is on the question of do I get drained on when I'm on trips with many females or too many females? And I think the best thing about that question is the addition of the word too, um, having too many because that already lends to what we're feeling or what we can expect to feel potentially when um, being with many women in a confined um, location for an extended period of time. So I have to say with that piece, uh, I absolutely did get drained. Um, it doesn't matter how good my friends' uh, relationships with myself are. Um, there are definitely different nuances that make um, a trip more or less draining, and I'll get into that a little bit. Um, my big thing I find with having uh, a trip with multiple females is I find the more females are in a group in a situation the more the conversation changes to more of the stereotypical talk and i've spoken about that in the past um but it becomes more of a flightiness or superficial type of conversations it's difficult to have more meaningful discussions and um, use that opportunity to really build your relationships um, and be essentially have it where your love tank is filling up again when you've walked away from that experience so i find um, that doesn't necessarily happen when there's multiple females also Again, I'm always looking at my notes. Um, it is also difficult because there, the more women are that are in a space, the more chances you're going to end up with multiple extroverts. And I find that becomes a bit of a disconnect for us introverts because the dynamic leans more to the extroversion. I mean, you're on a trip. You're it's supposed to be somewhat extroverted. So it compiles a situation. Also, the more extroverts it could change so that the plans on a trip, and I've had that in the past where once there's multiple extroverts, then the plans for your outings tend to be more um, extrovert based. So all of a sudden they're wanting to go to a loud bar or go and, you know, I don't know, essentially, yeah, going out to do something that is more loud and intense that can be overwhelming for introverts. Uh, another one for me that I find difficult is my mind state when I'm going into uh, doing one of these, say, trips, where if I am coming into a planned trip and I am coming in with uh, a lot of stress and essentially not enough downtime to recuperate before I go in. For me, that causes me increased anxiety because I haven't been able to get to my baseline, uh, more calm state. I'm more agitated and um, I actually find that I have less patience and less ability to manage my sarcasm or my um, uh, just more sharp personality traits. And that unfortunately isn't winning for anyone. Um, so if I'm going in where I'm depleted ahead of time, I know that I have to either make sure I'm very clear that I have to set aside time. And a lot of times I will use uh, the rationale that I do after work. Cause I mean, there's never end of, for work um, as there's being self-employed. Uh, so taking that time just to step aside from that um, group. And what's kind of sad about that too, on a, to touch on that, is that as an introvert, we, tend to value other people's personal time and it's unwritten that people will need downtime alone time and we just respect it and allow that into the natural flow of the um the trip so to have to make excuses or feel you need to make excuses 
because you don't want to offend someone because you're trying to take time for yourself to make yourself more present and aware and enjoying the circumstance or the situation um, that's too bad I think that uh, there's an opportunity for us females to be able to support all people we don't fit into a stereotype and that's the way it should be that's what makes friendships more dynamic and interesting and valuable for everyone not just for people that are maybe more on the extroverted side of the, the spectrum so essentially again it's the two that gets me that's so true the when there's too many females so if it is a smaller group say four people then it is a fantastic time. Usually it's enriching, you'll find you're able to have, for myself, have these uh, meaningful conversations and you can still have these superficial conversations, but they're all in a context that you're getting to understand that person a little bit more and you get more value for myself out of these exchanges. So anyways, I hope that uh, shed some light from my perspective for um, group outings with multiple females. And thanks so much again for putting in the video request. As always, if you have one, make sure you put video request into the comment section just so that I'm able to see it right away and make sure that I can uh, keep track of it. So thanks so much for watching.